Ryan 2022 has been kicked off. What's the impressions? <laughs> yeah, it has. Uh, straight into straight into the deep end with, a, with an all-out lead out. <laughs> Picking up where we left off last year. But yeah, we, it's, we've uh, started the season quite well. Barton was just second uh, behind Caleb, which is uh, I think was a good result. We worked well as a team and uh, yeah, basically this uh, this lead out train here is quite new and working together so this race was kind of effect effectively training for us to like learn how we, we all work and we've kicked it off quite well obviously um maybe i went a little bit early but the other guys uh yeah they know what they're doing so they kind of made up a few hundred meters where i pulled off a bit earlier but yeah it's uh it's a good, good way to start and i think everyone's really motivated and everyone's happy with how we communicated on the road and yeah just kind of keep uh, keep practicing and keep uh, keep improving day by day. I guess that's kind of the situation with a few teams like Dylan Grunewig and not Caleb Ewan, but there are some new trains out there, people getting used to each other in race yeah. situations. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, uh, first race is always interesting when you've got like a whole new group of guys. Everyone has to like build the trust in each other. Everyone's got to like learn how each one moves and what they can and can't do and what their limits are. Like if, for example, if one guy takes it up with the K to go, like they know he's only going to be able to do 300 meters and not 500. So it's all it's just the learning curve the first few races back. Uh, so there's a lot of guys in our position. Uh, so it's, we just kind of basically talk with our legs. First race of the season means a lot for the 2020 years. You guys push ahead towards those bigger goals. I mean, it has importance as you build up. Into oh, the sorry. Season. Well, yeah, like I say, it's just good to kind of uh, What's the word? Like hit the ground with your feet running. Is that the one? Yep. Is that, is that, is that, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's just good to basically you want to have a positive outcome no matter what happens in this race. Like obviously you don't want anyone to crash. Unfortunately, we had Mateo crash, but basically it's just like you want to start the season well and hope like just build that momentum and like just basically build the snowball and hopefully it'll just keep building and then yeah it's just it just it is an important one if you have a bad race the first race it's like that confidence gets knocked so uh i mean obviously we didn't win but uh it's a very very good start tell me because i heard it off camera how did you like those gravel roads and maybe the hegra scenery around you did you get a chance to enjoy it i mean everyone knows my thoughts on gravel you ride road bikes as a clue there um, Nathan Haas was tweeting in, dang, I wish I was still a road bike rider. Yeah, I've got a lot of time for Nathan, so I don't want to upset him. <laughs> He's the exception, but I think people who like gravel are borderline serial killers, so yeah. <laughs> Those who can't do road, do gravel. <laughs> what about the Saudi sites out there? Hegra, that's a UNESCO, Saudi Arabia's first UNESCO site you guys rode through today. I mean, that was the gravel section, wasn't it? Yeah. There was no type of sightseeing there, it was pretty full on. Um, but yeah, I was actually for the first time ever in the front group over a gravel sector, so that's a, that's a check. Um, yeah, we are very lucky that we get to experience places like this. I mean, we saw yesterday the effort this country's gone to to put on the put on the show for us with the opening ceremony. Yeah, they love it, don't they? <laughs> that's perfect, Ryan, and it's a good start to the 2022. Thank you. Yeah, no worries.